Hello and welcome to FHSS English Digital Class for Standard 7. This is your English teacher Swarnali Roy and today we are going to have another class on English 2 which is grammar. The topic that we are going to study in depth is pronouns. So let's understand what pronouns are and what is its use. A pronoun is a word which takes the position of a noun. A pronoun may take place of the name of a person, place or a thing. We are going to study eight types of pronouns. They are personal pronoun, possessive pronoun, reflexive pronoun, intensive pronoun, also known as emphatic pronoun, indefinite pronoun, relative pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, and lastly, interrogative pronoun. The first one is personal pronoun. It is a pronoun that is related to people, animals, or objects. There are two types of personal pronouns, subject pronouns and object pronouns. As you can see here, when a person or animal or thing is the subject of a sentence, subject pronouns are used. For example, I don't want to go home in the dark. Who is doing the action here? The subject I. Hence, I is the subject pronoun here. Similarly, object pronouns are used when a person, animal or thing is the object of the sentence. For example, ask me no questions and I will tell you no lies. Whom the questions shouldn't be asked? The object me. Hence, me is the object pronoun. Coming to possessive pronouns, it is a pronoun used to indicate or show ownership. For example, this pen is mine. Whose pen is it? Mine. Hence, mine is a possessive pronoun. Same goes for the words yours, his, hers, ours, and theirs. But how to distinguish possessive pronouns from possessive adjectives? A possessive adjective is also used to show ownership. But then, how is it different? The difference is actually very clear. Possessive adjectives come before a noun in the sentence. For example, this is my book. The possessive adjective my is placed before the noun book, whereas a possessive pronoun never comes before a noun. For example, this book is mine. The possessive pronoun mine stands alone. It is not placed before a noun like possessive adjectives. Note that all the possessive pronouns can be used both in the subject and object positions. Moving on to reflexive pronouns. What are reflexive pronouns? Reflexive pronouns are words that end in self in singular form and selves in plural form. And it is important to understand that it is only applied whenever the subject and the object of a sentence are the same. It is categorized into singular and plural. As you can see on your screen, a reflexive pronoun can function both as a direct or an indirect object. An example of reflexive pronoun is Claire is looking at herself or she is looking at herself. Here, both the subjects, Claire or she, and object herself are the same. 